In this iMovie tutorial, we're going to learn how to blur the license plate of a moving car. Hey folks, ET here. For this tutorial, you're going to need to take a screenshot of the video. So what I would do is actually use Command, Shift, and the number 3, which will give you a full desktop screenshot automatically. Then I'll open it up in Pixelmator, which is my favorite editor. And uh, you can use any editor. Then we're going to go ahead and crop out the license plate and actually throw a Gaussian blur on it or any kind of blur or you can pixelate it whatever you need to do to make it so the license plate does not show okay so we're gonna go ahead and crop closely as possible but a little bit extra so when we cover up the license plate in the video we don't have to keyframe it too too much too nicely so we got that there and where is that Gaussian oh yeah, that's right it's on the right over here we're gonna throw that blur on there it's a little bit too much because we can't see anything we're going to get to the point where we barely can see the license plate, but we can't make out the actual numbers. Then we'll hit OK, and we'll export it as a PNG or JPEG. It doesn't really matter. And I'll name it Blurred License Plate. After I export, I'm going to go ahead and delete this Pixelmator project because I don't need this. Save some space on my hard disk there. Okay, now we're back in iMovie. What we're going to do is actually import that image we just made. And it'll be in our uh, our media library here, somewhere toward the bottom. Okay, there it is. Double click on it. We're going to drag it into the timeline right above the clip. And we're actually going to drag and resize the, the picture to actually match the size of the clip. We're going to double click on it. Go to the top. There's a cropping tool. We're going to make sure we say fit. After we do that, we're going to go to the the uh, video overlay settings and go to picture in a picture. We're going to click on picture in a picture and we're actually going to zero out the transition there. So let's put zero or 0.0. 0. Click anywhere and it, and it basically accepts it. So now we'll move it kind of in the general vicinity of where we need to start keyframing it to cover up or blur the license plate. So what we need to do is find out exactly where that license plate starts to show on the video here. So I'm kind of using the scrubber to actually advance the film footage little by little right there. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the picture in the picture, the top blurred. And sometimes you have to click off and click back on it to make it so you can resize it. There we go. So I'm gonna resize it to match the size of the license plate as closely as possible. There we go, that's a pretty good size. And then we're gonna try to back out the scrubber there, right there, and then move it so right where we think the plate is gonna actually appear on the video, we wanna click on the keyframe button right there at the top. And now we use our right arrow key to advance the footage frame by frame, moving that picture in a picture to cover it. Okay, so this is where it's fun and long, laborious process. But the more exact you are, the better your your uh, keyframing, your blurring will actually turn out. So right now, I haven't actually resized the picture in a picture. Basically, the car is getting smaller, and my plate is staying the same size. You notice. But right now, it's probably a good size, but as you can see, the farther and farther away it gets, the bigger the license plate will get. So in a second, I'm going to show you how to remedy that situation. But in order to actually make this video not an hour long, let's go ahead and fast forward this about eight times. So here we go. Okay, as I mentioned, this the car is getting smaller, the plate is staying the same size, the cover. So once I finish this fast forward time, Probably about now I should have resized it, but, but for the demonstration, I want it to be pretty obvious why you'd want to resize. So here we go. Now let's slow it down. Okay, now I'm going to move it off so I can see the size of the actual plate itself, and i got to get a lot smaller. There we go. And then I'm going to continue with the old keyframing using the right keyboard key to advance the slide and just following that license plate until I get to the point where I don't need to key it or to cover it anymore. 
and that's right about now. Let's speed it up. There we go. Okay, so here's the final product. It's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What? Bloop. Now it gets smaller. That's where I resized it, you'll notice. So let me show you that in slower motion. Little by little. You notice the car is smaller, but the plate is still the same size, getting bigger and bigger. But right here, I actually resized it. So if you were going to do it right, you'd resize it the whole way. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace and aloha.